Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a everyday makeup look. So this is my makeup, quite natural I'd say. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I got my makeup look, then keep on watching. Okay, so um, I've actually just hopped out of the shower and I have washed my face in the shower using my Himalayan charcoal face wash. So I've used that. And then I don't primer anything. I literally just moisturise before I do my makeup. So I have already put my moisturiser on, but I use E45, the cream one though, the tub. Um, I just love it so much. Like I've literally used it since forever and it's just what works for me. So first I'm going to do my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I have actually started doing the um, soap brow trend. So for my eyebrows, I use my soap. So my soap that I'm actually using is in here. Um, a little life hack from me. If you use soap for your eyebrows, go to your supermarket, get one of these little soap holders so that your bar of soap isn't just like floating around in your drawer. Um, and it keeps it clean as well. So yeah, this is my soap. I'm just using mm, the Pengis um, grapefruit bar of soap from La Body Shop. So then I just take my setting spray. I'm using Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Coconut and just literally spray my soap to give it a little bit of bubbleage. And then my spoolie, I just use this little random spoolie um, and get this soap. I do take quite a lot because, you know, oh, it smells so nice, this. Yeah, so just get on my soap. So I just like brush all the hairs up like this. I'll show you. So I'll just like brush all the like that so they're all just stood upright just I know a lot of people sort of brush them then back to the side but this just makes because my eyebrows aren't that thick anyway so if I brush them all up like this then that's the new shape of my brow as you can see it's a lot thicker than this one so this looks a bit cray cray right now um but then I'm just doing the exact same to the other brow I've currently got a wax melt burning here and it smells like cupcakes. It's the fittest thing ever. So there we go. So I've just brushed um, all the hairs of my brows up. So then next, after I've done that, I just take a little makeup wipe and clean the soap. Um, yeah, clean the soap like around my brows just because my foundation isn't clean nicely to um, that soap. So I just take a little makeup wipe and then you can you can kind of see it like here. You can see like this soap build up around my eyebrow. So I just wipe that off with a micellar wipe. Like so. After I've got the shape of my brows that I want, I then carved them out using um, my foundation. So my normal foundation is the Revolution Stick in F4, but I have actually changed my foundation that I use now, but I have still got some left in here. So I am using this to carve out my brows just because it's easy, like it's so super easy. So my brush that I'm using is this Smudger Brush by... Jessup. I'm going to put the link to these brushes down below because I bought this pack of brushes off eBay and um, it was like £22 or something for like a big brush set and they are so nice like I'll show you I'll show you them like as I'm doing my makeup but this is one of them honestly unreal brushes love them so much so I just take the foundation stick and just like cover my brush in it this is good for if like you know, you're about to chuck this in the bin. Like, you might as well use that for something. So I use it for my brows. So I just carve around the edge of my brows, not neatly or anything, literally, just so that it's easy to put my foundation on. So I just draw a line under. And 
and then I just sort of like smudge it out so that the line around the brow isn't so like harsh. So that's all I do for my brows. So I've just carved out the shape of my brow there. As you can see, it just looks a lot better when it's got some shape in it than here. Here it looks a bit dead. In lockdown, my brows have gotten so much thicker and I'm so happy about it. Because I'd normally get them waxed, but I haven't been having them waxed. And my eyebrow lady sometimes literally just plucks off my whole eyebrow. So, giving them a little bit of a break. So, there, so now that I've carved out the shape of my brow, the front of them do look very square. But when I go in later, like that's all I'll do to my brows for now. And then I do my foundation, then I come back to my brows at the end. Um, but when I fill them in later and like I run a, a spoolie through them, they do go not as blocky as this. But that just sort of like gets the shape for them and has sort of traced them out so that I can do my foundation without getting foundation on my eyebrows. So then for my foundation. I actually this week went shopping in Boots and bought two new foundations. So the first one that I bought, oh this was from Superdrug, sorry. Um, this is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate one, which is the same colour as the foundation stick that I use. But I wanted to try a new one and this runs out so quickly. This will literally last me like four weeks at work. Um, but this like this has obviously got a lot more product in it and I also bought the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. These are pretty much the same colour. This one's a tiny bit lighter. Uh, I am actually going to be using this on stage just because I've never tried it and I really want to use it. So, But it's going to be becoming part of my everyday makeup so it does fit with this video. So I'm just taking it. It comes with like this little spatula in it. Um, I'm just sort of going to... See, I've never used it, so I don't actually know the coverage of it, so I don't know how much to put on, but I'm just going to wing it and just sort of, like, you know. However, oh, it's very thick, and it smells very nice. So just cut, it's like, put in the spatula on. Okay, I think I put quite a lot on. So we're just gonna go with this amount for now and we can always come back for more. So for my foundation, I like to, first off, um, use a stippling brush to blend it in. Not a stippling brush, sorry, like a, like a buffer. And then go back over it with a sponge to get rid of any foundation marks. So I've actually lost my brush. Okay, so here's my foundation brush. There again, this is another Jessup brush. These are just like such nice quality brushes, like 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 this one you see here, they're just so super soft and so nice. Sorry, I'm going to put the link below, but everyone should go buy them because there's really no need to pay for expensive brushes anymore. Um, but yeah, this is the Buffer brush and I'm just I'm quite nervous to use this. I've used literally the same foundation forever. It is quite dewy, as you can see, like, oh my god, it really doesn't match my neck, but I haven't got any tan on, in my defence. It's quite nice coverage as well, like, as you, like, I had, like, quite a few little, like, red bits on my chin, and it's covered them up nicely. And I am a very red person, like, my skin, as you can see, like, my natural skin is just very, like, rosy. So, if I can find a foundation that completely covers that, then love it and this seems to be doing that it's always so much effort going around your brows It kind of smells a bit like 
like my rabbit's food. <laughs> like, I know that's really weird. I like cereal. It's a bit strange. I mean, it does smell nice, but it's also got a quite bit of a tinge of rabbit food. Okay, so now that I've just buffed um, all that foundation, I actually do quite like it. It's quite dewy, as you can see. Like it's picking up the light quite nicely. And then I'm just taking my Real Techniques. This is the body sponge, so it's the bigger version of the Real Techniques sponge. And then I'm just blending it all so that, you know, no lines or anything. And so that it proper gets in my skin, if you get what I mean. Okay, so I actually do really like that foundation. It's gone on nicely, quickly, it was easy to blend. So yeah, I kind of rate it, you know. I've got a bite on my head here, can you see it? It's really annoying me. <laughs> Good, I don't like flies. So yeah, just blend it all this. I'm gonna try and blend out the front of this brow because it's a little bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so now that I've done my foundation, I go in with a little bit of concealer under my eyes, literally a tiny, tiny bit, because if I put too much on, I just get proper bad smile lines, like, as you can see, my eyes wrinkle, um, because of my chubby cheeks, so I'm just putting a tiny bit on. The concealer that I use is Revolution Conceal and Define, but this is a new one, so I'm just struggling to open it, you know. Oh, it won't open. Oh my god, I can't get into it. What the hell? It just literally won't open. Oh my god. I've honestly just spent about 25 minutes of my life. The concealer I use is Revolution Conceal and Define. I think I've already said this. See what I mean? I've literally just spent ages trying to unwrap it. But I just take a little bit of this concealer. I use the shade C1. Very pale. And honestly, like tiny tiny bit I actually see what I said I said a tiny bit and I put loads on um I actually use oh never mind tiny bit down my nose um and then for my chin I use a darker one to cover up my spot so I know this is unhygienic but This foundation's going, this concealer's on its way out anyways. Um, and then I just get a little brush. I use the Face Shape brush. This is by also Jessup. And just blend my concealer. Like so. Okay, so once I've put that in with the brush, again, just go over it with the same sponge. Blend it out. Like so. Then, for my everyday makeup, I don't cream contour. Uh, if I was going out, different story but I'm obviously not going out because of lockdown so I just use my powder after I've done yeah so after I've done my face um I just powder um so I use the airspun powder this is like a loose powder like so um, and I just take that on like a little powder brush again, using a brush by Jessup because I love them. And the brush that I'm using is actually gone missing, so that's cool. Oh, it's here. So the brush that I'm using is this powder brush again, lovely fluffy brush. I just tip a little bit of the powder out onto my hand. Professional. 
um, and then I just swirl my brush and I just powder everywhere I like to think that I like being dewy but apparently I like being powdered so all over my eyes under my eyes put that much powder on to be honest but I just feel like I feel like it's weird to put powder bronzer on top of like a wet foundation so under my eyes and it does set under my eyes to be fair because they do get crinkled so like so then for my bronzer I use the Rimmel London natural bronzer this is a waterproof bronzer. Okay, who is, I suppose if you're going swimming to be fair. Um, but yeah, hip pan. So for my bronzer, I use just a quite a fluffy big brush. This is, again, by Jessup, sponsor me. Um, this is the face defining brush. I just, I do love bronzer. I put quite a lot of bronzer on. And you know, kind of put it everywhere. So, my faces um and then i put quite a lot on my fod my hair it's doing my head in today ngl what are you doing girl so? just stay back um where was it up to now no, my head oh i didn't even tap that off Okay, so now that I've bronzed, I love this bronzer so much. Like, I used to use Hoola. My hair, like, honestly, what is going on with it today? Yeah, so I love this bronzer. I used to use Hoola, but it's just like, it's like £24 or something like that. This is like a fiver, and it's normally on like three for two in Super Jug, so it's a no-brainer. Um, and then I go in with my highlight. Highlight is my favourite part as it is pretty much everybody else's because it's just the best thing. And for my highlight, I use my palette, which I've cracked. I'm so sad about it, I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually got it. This is literally on the first day that I bought it as well. Mm -hmm. So for my highlight, I use these two shades here, mainly this one with a little bit of this one. Um, so for my highlight, I've actually only recently started using like a little brush. I used to use a fan brush, but I just, this just gets more and I want as much as I can get. So just take this one, tiny bit of this, then back to that. And then I literally just, oh, this highlight is honestly unreal. I don't know if you're going to be able to, I just want you to be able to see it shine because it's so nice. So like I hardly press on with the brush but oh my god like look at it it's honestly just the nicest highlight ever like oh, I love it so much so yeah like I hardly even touch the brush to my face because so much comes off but Honestly, the nicest highlight ever. And then, like, see, I've literally used the same. Like, I haven't gone back into the palette. Just using one brush for, like, my whole face. So, 
so as you can see I've just highlighted pretty much my whole face um, but I literally like this highlight is just honestly unreal like oh, I love it so much um, so yeah after I've done that I just go back in with my bronzing brush and just sort of go like this just so that like where the highlight and the bronze meet there's no like just so that it all blends in like so oh my god i just love it like it actually is just the nicest highlight ever so after i've done that i go in with my eyeshadow so every single day without fail since i was about four i've put these exact same colors in my eyelid so for my eyes i don't do anything extravagant i literally just get my eyeshadow brush this is actually a bh cosmetics one sorry jessup i don't even know how you say it jessup jessup jessu but yeah this is a bh cosmetics one and i'm just taking my abh modern renaissance palette and these three colors here um as you can see very loved colors so i just sort of go like this you know there's not really any structure there but i just cover my lid in these colors because my eyelids get proper bad crinkles on them like foundation lines so this just sets it and i don't know i just feel strange if i go out in my eyelid this color i don't know it's just habit now i think but yeah just there's honestly nothing great going on here just kind of piling it onto my eyelid and it gets rid of any lines because like before i put this on what's that piece of thingy doing okay so yeah that's my eyeshadow for the day and i just take what's left on the brush and sort of go under my eye So that's it that's my eyeshadow um done then i'm going to go back into my eyebrows so for my eyebrows i use the i use the abh dip brow in the shade dark brown i love this so much like i used to use this one nyx tame and frame because i thought oh, like it's just the same it's really not the same like this is just such a nicer one like you do get what you pay for and i feel like they ones dry out loads this just doesn't dry out when it's always so creamy i love it so much so i hardly put any product in my eyebrows um because i just like them looking quite natural so i just get i dip it in a tiny bit this is a liner brush yeah this is the jessup wing liner brush dip it in and then i literally take off the like every single piece of product that i've just put onto the brush and yeah so that there's hardly anything on the brush the brush has just got like a little bit and then i just sort of do like brush strokes i'll just show you what i do because it's quite hard to explain Um, that's honestly literally it like not a lot I'm gonna go in with the eyebrow gel just so that the top isn't as bare so I use the NYX control free eyebrow gel Um, this is just like a clear eyebrow gel but yeah I just sort of brush all the hairs up So like so. So then my brow is just looking like this. And then I'm going to do the same to the other. As you can see, I haven't really done a lot to it. Um, I've just sort of darkened it. Like it just looks darker. But I'm going to do the other one now.
so this is the second brow. Oh no. I'm going to sort that out. There we go. So this one always goes so much nice. Is that? quite even on camera they look a bit red but in real life i can assure you they are brown uh, so yeah just going over it with the gel now i love this gel so much i also use this gel this is a like this one is about six pounds i think and then this one is one pound fifty or one ninety nine something like that and it's the collection color lash clear mascara and it works the exact same um this one i just prefer so there we go something's not right here yeah, this top part, it looks a bit not right. Yeah, there we go. So, them are my eyebrows. So, they're just quite fluffy, quite thick. As you can see, like, before I started this video, I do have not thin brows, but not thick brows. So, now they are thick and then I just go under my brows with a little bit of um that highlight so taking on quite a fluffy brush and then taking the paler 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 highlight from the palette just put a tiny tiny bit under my brow so golden and nice I'm quite happy with having brows turned out today, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I'm not going anywhere, which is just typical, really, isn't it? And then I go in with my mascara. So for my mascara, I use the Kiko Milano uh, Luxurious Lashes Waterproof Mascara. I have to use waterproof mascara because throughout the day, I just laugh a lot and cry. Not cry, like, <laughs> but, like, cry laughing. I mean, sometimes I cry like, <laughs> but not all the time. So, for those reasons, I have to wear waterproof because it just transfers all over my face. But this is like a plastic one. I just really like it. And, yeah. I hate my face when I do my mascara. I look like a weird little weasel. Also, I didn't realise, but sorry if you can hear the wind. The window is open. Um... And that's it. So then I need to go around and obviously clean up all the bits of mascara that have happened to jump onto my eyelids. So for that, I just use a clean spoolie. The spoolie I'm actually using is this one. And it is from a girl on TikTok who makes them, which I just think is so cute. Comes like a little case with a little diamond on top. She also makes eyelashes. I did buy some off her. I'm going to put the link to her website down below as well because they're really good. It's called Meggy Lashes and I got this pair off her which are like, these are literally like 2 dollars something like that. Honestly, I paid hardly anything for them. But this pair here, I don't know if you can see, they're just like super nice eyelashes. Can you even see that? I don't even know. But I got that pair and then I got this pair as well, which is like quite an, I say natural, it's really not a natural pair of eyelashes, is it? But it's more natural. They come in these little case, this cute little case wrap. I have taken one of them out, so. Yeah, so these are the other ones. I've taken one out, but as you can see, they're really fluffy and like really pretty lashes. And they come in this cute little case as well. And you can see here, they're just like really nice. I'm gonna attempt to stick it on, but see what I mean? Really love them, literally three pounds each. And she's just like a small business, so go support her. Not that she needs it, because I think so many people are buying off at the minute because she's so good. But yeah, so so off track there. But back to the spoolie. Just use a clean spoolie. 
um, to wipe away any mascara that's on my lids. Just like scratch it off, which is a bit painful to be fair. And then to separate my lashes. Like so. So yeah, that's my lashes done. I don't wear eyelashes every day. 100% do not do that. And then finally, my hair's disgusting. Finally, I am doing my lips. So I just get my little wipe that I used before. Take the soap off my brows. Take the pomade off my hand. That's really not coming off right now. Oh, there we go. God. And then, mm, and then find a clean part of the wipe and just. So then I use a lip scrub just to make sure there's no like dead skin on my lips or anything gorgeous like that. So I'm using my favourite ever smell in the whole entire world, the Sugar Plum Fairy Lush Lip Scrub. And it's just so nice and it tastes so nice you are meant to eat it i'm not being weird so i just take a tiny bit of this like so and then scrub my lips so just blending out like so then I'm lining my lips with the Body Shop Lip Definer Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Beach, B-E-E-C-H. Um, yeah, and it's just like a, like a nice nude lip pencil. So just, you know, lining my lips. I'm not very good at this, by the way. I've only, start, only just started doing this, so you know, give me a break. I have overdrawn on a tiny, tiny bit just because I haven't got any. And then I'm going in with my Kiko lip gloss. I think today I'm going to actually use number 19. It's always a toss up between 19 and 20. They do look very similar, like, no, they don't even look similar, they look completely different. But yeah, I'm going to use 19 today. So these are just the nicest lip glosses in the world. I literally have so many. I just honestly am obsessed with them. And they're just so nice. So I put so much of this on. Like there's just not enough at all. So that's it that's my lips um and this is my finished everyday makeup i say every day obviously not every day at the minute because of lockdown but you know on a day-to-day -day basis i'm going to work that's pretty much all i do then this is how i do my makeup so if you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you in the next video